Hello, hi, is Rousseau? Okay. Thank you. Are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. That's it, thank you. If I could just have your personal details here, please. Alright, thank you. So, for activities, we do have sandboarding. Uh, if you want to go out, you can do sandboarding, or they also work at the grass for uh, grass boarding. For sandboarding, from the gate, make a right. You arrive alongside the beach, so you can, there's a tall sand tree there, you can just see the sand there. You also have some canoeing at our dams, bass fishing, and for bike riding, we usually uh, tell guests to bring their own bikes. We don't, or we don't have bikes for ourselves. And then also through here, we have, the pool is right down this side, and then the dams are straight along that path, we have a gate down there, that has our dams, two of our dams. Then from one of our dams, the trail starts from there. It's called the Babak Talk. From there, straight around this side, up until you come around this, it's about a 4K uh, trail. And also from this road, there is another gate that leads to that road over there. If your car can't get up there, there is another road on the left that you can take. That will lead you right over there on top. That's what we call our lookout. In the lookout, you can see the whole property and the new properties around. Sounds awesome. I've got a few toys for you as well that I brought with. Yes, uh, Michelle already told me. <laughs> okay, then we go get Thank it. Thank you very much. Alright, Sam. Uh, so, um, Michelle asked me to bring a few things because apparently with the bass fishing and the, and the um, facilities that you give, there's a couple of kids that want to fish. And you do have a few fishing rods. And um, so we bought a few lures. Uh, just for the kids to have some fun. So I <clears throat> bought a few like little starter packs, a couple of lures, a couple of flukes, a couple of creature baits, a um, couple of crankbaits, a couple of topwater baits, poppers, a couple of bass hooks, a couple of small little spinners, a couple of little split shot sinkers <clears throat> for them to weight down. I also brought you a sticker so that will give you all your um, ocean species, the fish species, the bag limit, legal bag limit, the legal size for your clients that'll um, come from far and want to fish the ocean. Okay. So uh, I would like to thank you and then um, I'm going to enjoy my stay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hopefully you will enjoy your stay. Cool. Speak to you later again. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We are going to the lodge. To the house. Huh? Huh? Going to the house. The party house? The party house, yes. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Oh, quite like a view. Nice. So hot tub being filled. Wood burner. Like an old donkey. <laughs> gonna keep gonna get having a luck outside bath tonight. Like a fireplace. How's this to say? Eh? They're not kidding when they say four star. Everything you need. And more actually. The first bedroom. Nice queen size bed. 
Nice open shower. Lots of storage space. If you want to pack out your clothes, there's another door leading out there. Bathroom two. <laughs> nice corner bath. Awesome man, let's get this party started. <laughs> let's take a walk to the lizard pool, lazy lizard pool in the Boma. If you do hear a little monkey screaming, it's my kids, <laughs> my wife. <laughs> Where's my other kid? Daddy? <laughs> there comes the other one. So if there's a lot of background noise, it's these little monkeys, eh? <laughs> Ooh, into the jungles. And obviously I have my trusty psychic with me. Okay, there's the boma. It's a scary forest. It's a pretty forest. Not exactly the best hiking tack he's on. <laughs> okay, so you can chill. Make it like a fire. Enjoy the scenery. Awesome. Let's go check out this lazy lizard pool thing looks. I hear a monkey! Do you hear a monkey? I also hear a monkey. There's Blake. Yes, it's almost like walking on something hard and not soft sand all the time. <laughs> Out of the jungle, into five star. <laughs> yes, how awesome is this? Yo, like a view. Yeah, I'll be able to chill, yeah. What's on here? There's even more stuff. A cute little random picnic bench. Another two million kilometers of walking down there. <laughs> That's awesome. So we like literally just got here. I haven't seen the dance. But I can't help myself, I need to go. Come kids. Good news, bad news. Good news is we're not gonna have fun just yet. No, that's bad news. <laughs> Daddy's gonna fish. So I'm fishing weightless now. I don't have any sinkers or nothing. I've only got a small little dinger on. So I'm Let casting it. I'm just giving it a little bit so it can sink. And I'm just pitching it and playing with it. Um, fishing slowly because there's not really any wind or, or anything like that. So I can fish as weightless as possible and as light as possible. Let's see if we can get a fish. So here we are at the second little pond. Look how cool this is. Like a tiny little houseboat. <laughs> awesome. You can fish at night. Like a man. You can just take it and use your own leisure. Just look after it, obviously.
Allez show you guys quickly this Daiwa Avianto reel, make off the reel, they don't make them anymore but I've been fishing this Daiwa for many many years and it's got many many fish. The lucky thing about this, this reel is it's got a twitch bar. Now a lot of um, companies, different brands have tried making a twitch bar reel, um, didn't succeed. This thing normally what happens is the twitch bar slips. So if you look here closely, um, you can either reel it, if you want to really finesse fish, dead stick it, so in other words it just lies there, then you can just twitch it like that. It just gives subtle little movements on the bait. And again, I've been fishing this reel for probably, I don't know, 10 years, and it hasn't given me one single problem. I haven't even serviced it once. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Diver. So I'm not quite sure if I'm stuck now on something or if it's a fish. But give me Van Damme once said, rather catch, catch 10 leaves and one fish, so no leaves and no fish. I'm just going to strike and see. <laughs> Ten leaves, ten leaves. <laughs> Alright, how awesome this is. So, obviously you have your matches and your fire starter. <coughs> He's having a picnic. <laughs> now we need to start up a hot tub. So there's the wood. We lift this puppy up. Alright, so I give you your complimentary blitz. An old 50 kg of wood. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a small little bag, but any case. Like a 2022 donkey. Those of you that come from the farm and knows what a donkey is. Put it down there. Well then, then we start stacking it with wood. You know it's lucky when even your bath smells like fire. Like bright place. <laughs> If I know my kids, <clears throat> they're probably gonna stand this thing till tomorrow morning. So I'm not gonna stack it with the wood. Sweet. Then we leave this open, and in about an hour's time, the swimming pool should be ready. <laughs> also. Tony? Yeah. What do you think of the outside jacuzzi slash fireplace slash warm pool? I think it's very, very good. You can must speak Afrikaans, huh? It's going to be like a lucky bride also. You can ask Charlie so. But the other guy is not here in Charlie, you can wait. Come to me, mate. Oh, like like a sunny winter in warm water. Beautiful! Uh, uh, money winning! <laughs> yes, yeah, I got the boss man, boss man, madam, they himself coming to open the gate. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, frosty. Frosty, frosty. Thank you. Okay. Game plan. So here's a bunch of lily pads. Um, there's a canoe with a uh, paddle. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the, the little pond that way. There was yesterday, they were that little party boat thing and then fish that water there where I got a nibble yesterday morning or yesterday afternoon at least and then maybe take this canoe 
and fish the bank there and the lily pads as the sun comes up because then they'll probably want to look for shade. Let's see if that works. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm fishing very light, so, um, but I cast, I let it sink for a bit, um, and then what I'll do is, I'll just give it a quick flick, like so, and then I'll let it sink again. And what I'll do is I'll watch the line, almost like it would be freshwater fishing carp for carp or whatever, and I'll see if there's a bite on it, and if they swim away with it, I know they're eating it, and then I'll make fun. Sometimes if they bite really finicky, it'll even feel like you just have a leaf on the on the on the line, and it will pull slowly. And sometimes you'll feel it go tick tick, and you know it's chowing it. Make one more cast here, and then we're gonna move up to those wooden sticks sticking out of water. But like a little three inch dinger on you, it's very, very light and I'm not really getting the distance. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put on a, a fluke, <coughs> like a junior fluke or something like that. Um, and then uh, maybe you get a bit more distance so I can get close to those reeds. You want to throw like literally into the reeds um, without getting snagged, obviously. Um, they, they reverse in there and they sit there and wait for bait fish to come along. Might actually even fish off this pontoon boat, trying to get under those trees there, just pitch it under those trees. Okay, let's see, let's move up to that jetty. Okay, so this is what I was fishing with now. A little tail dinger, swamp crawler kind of thing. So I'm going to take that off. Take it off nicely so I can reuse it. Otherwise you just tear it. Okay, I'm going to go for a bit of a heavier dinger. This is a watermelon red seed. See, the watermelon is the brown with the black dots in it, and then the red seed is the red flake in it. I'm gonna hook it wheelless, so what I do is I go from the front, you'll see the hook is got a straight edge like that. So I go up until that edge, through the through the dinger, and when I get, get to this part of the hook, I'll twist it around. So where the hook comes out is on top. Then um, it, gets, it takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get to know um, after a while where to hook your hook in. So you'll go straight. So you want your hook, your, your lure to lie straight like that. And although I know it's got that little gap in there, well, what I like to do, I like to pull it forward and push the tip of the hook into the lure as well, like that. And you've got a nice streamlined weedless lure to fish with. 
I'm not sure what kind of size fish is in here. Um, so this is quite a large lure. I'll see if I get pecks and pecks and they pull me in, but they don't get the hook in their mouth and I know if it's a bit too long. So what I'll do is I'll from the from the top here by the by the flat side, I'll bite it off, make it a bit smaller. <laughs> Let's check. Here's Chang. <laughs> it's tiny, but it's there. Mwah. Let's get this baby back in the water quickly. On to the next one. <laughs> Sweet. Shota. <laughs> finally, finally, finally. <laughs> Mwah. That little thing. Clean my dog. Clean my dog. Yo, I've got a mess in the grass. <laughs> A bunch, a bunch of grass on it. There it goes. <laughs> Yo. Nice, 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 nice. Nice young little bass. Let's take the hook out. <clears throat> Let's speak about a little bit uh, about this fish. That's why I call it a largemouth bass. As you can see, it's got a, like a fat mouth. Um, if I look on the side, uh, it almost looks like a California bass. Texas bass has got more blotches on it. This one's got a bit of a line on it. I think I'm right in that one. <laughs> but it's a beautiful little fish. Um, big eyes, they sight fish a lot. That's why they, they, they act on movement and the color of your lure. Uh, whereas in the ocean, color isn't always the most important bit. 
Um, beautiful little fish. Big mouth, swallow anything. Mwah, let's get it back. So this is definitely going to be my last cast. <laughs> the wind is pumping. Um, there, I don't know if you can see that at the back. There's like proper rain coming. Thanks to the camera fell over. <laughs> this is another little one. Yo, the wind is howling now. Let's get this one close. Nice little, healthy little bass. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna definitely be my last cast. Let's check at the back, there's rain coming. Uh, you can check out the, I don't know if you can see it, how the wind is blowing over the, the dam. So, um, yeah, last cast. Going back and having a beer. <laughs> After 10 more last casts, <laughs> I have to go now. You can't really see it, but there's a storm coming there. And the wind is pumping. So, definitely time for a beer. <laughs>